If you've been nonstop binging but still want more of the movies and TV you love, these podcasts will be like music to your ears. I'm a podcaster. What on earth is that? On this IM Debrief, we run down six podcasts to deepen your knowledge, your passion, and your fandom, especially when you need a binge break. Since you probably already rewatched all nine parts of the Star Wars Skywalker saga, that's impossible! Well, no, they all just hit Disney Plus. Now check out the podcast Blockbuster, an audio history of the rocky road that upstart filmmaker pals George Lucas and Steven Spielberg traversed to get their first films made. Told with storybook narration, voice actors playing the cinema legends, and an original score inspired by John Williams' Oscar-winning music. One of the many podcast highlights is the long and dogged auditions that George Lucas held to find his Han Solo. Hey guys, I'm Sylvester Stallone, reading for the part of Han Solo. Hey there, Tommy Lee Jones, reading for the part of Han Solo. I'm Christopher Walken, I'm reading for Han Solo. If you're into classic films and celebrity impressions, then Turner Classic Movies' ultra deep dive into the life and legend of Paper Moon and the last picture show director Peter Bogdanovich is the podcast for you. Our friend here, he just purely hates being interviewed. On The Plot Thickens, TCM's Ben Mankiewicz hosts and connects the dots between Bogdanovich, his mentor Orson Welles, and a little film that Ben's grandfather Herman J. Mankiewicz wrote for Orson, Citizen Kane. This is Orson Welles. I, I can't tell you how long I've wanted to meet you. If you're searching for more of the greatest films ever to add to your watch list, then the first podcast from IMDb has got you covered. Movies That Changed My Life is a weekly interview series that gives our favorite actors and filmmakers the chance to chat about what got them into showbiz in the first place. Have you been at the controls? What are you talking about? The thermostats. What have you done to them? I haven't touched them. Then why has my head gone numb? That's from With Nail and I, a British cult comedy from 1987 and one of guest Joel McHale's favorites, especially for Richard E. Grant's incredible punch drunk performance. There's so many Oscar winning performances that are missed and this is one of them in the biggest way because if it was a big time A-list studio actor who pulled that performance off, they would have gotten nine Oscars. Since HBO recently offered a wealth of classic series to stream for free, this might finally be the time to binge The Sopranos. Well, you're not scared of me now, are you? No. Good, because you can dive in head first with Tony's Emmy-winning co-star Drea DeMatteo as she revisits all 86 episodes on Made Women. When I auditioned for David Chase and wow. he had me read for like four different parts in the pilot and I wasn't right for anything. And I didn't know anything about it. I did think it was about opera singers. Or you can watch two of Tony's other co-stars on Steve Shrippa and Michael Imperioli's Talking Sopranos. Clearly, there's plenty of Tony talk to go around. Those three guys were uh, auditioning for the, they were the finalists for Tony Soprano. So Michael Rispoli, Jim Gandolfini, Stevie Van Zandt, could have been Tony Soprano. Lastly in the TV lane is Office Ladies, from two literal ladies of NBC's The Office, Angela Kinsey and Jenna Fisher. Look, it's uh, Little Pregs and Big Pregs. Wait, when did we start coming? Isn't it amazing, the difference in our sizes? Kinsey and Fisher are only 27 episodes into the original 201, so their behind-the-scenes stories with Office co-stars, writers, and directors like Creed Bratton, Paul Feig, and Greg Daniels will be filling out trivia pages on IMDb for months to come. Here it is. It's the office bringing us back together again. Yes! It's so special. It's so special. Okay, so, we're geeking so out. For more preeminent pods and trending stories, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.